we will be able to understand we will be able to understand how to stop the form submission how to stop the form submission when you are using glide ajax so okay so now i will actually explain you a scenario if this color the, the color that you have selected right the color that you have selected is actually a contractor if he, he is not actually a permanent employee or full time employee if he is not a full time employee he is a contractor he should not be able to submit the cases just before the form submission i have to check whether the caller is actually a full time employee or not how do we get to know if he is a contractor he is not a full time employee if if this caller is actually a full time employee i have to check before the form submission i have to check this caller is actually a full time employee or not if he is not full time employee then we will stop the form submission okay <clears throat> how do we check whether he is actually a full time employee or not we have to query the user table in the user table you will query with this sid this this particular user sid and you will understand whether he is actually a full time employee or not so now what am i going to do is i am going to copy the glide ajax which you have which we have already written right click configure client switch okay so i am actually copying the syntax i am going to create a new on submit client script with an employee or not on submit in the on submit okay so here right in the on submit line script the get xml will not work we will have to use get xml wait okay and we don't need this function at all we don't need this function at all okay so i am going to this script include inside the script include i am going to write a new function full time employee function inside this one right inside this one you will actually query the user table we don't this we don't need this object here okay whatever you pass in the return statement that will be passed to the client side whatever you pass it in the return statement that will be passed to the client side so here in the return statement what i do is i will actually pass full time or not so i will go to the user table
So contractor field is there here. Contractor is nothing but not a full time employee. So what I, what we do is. We will get the contractor field. So I am going to make a few employees as few users as contractors. So, Dinesh, uh, so Donald, Dinesh, sorry, Nishant, Admin, Abed, these are actually contractors. Now, right, so you underscore, the field name is actually contractor field name. You underscore contractor. You are actually passing contractor value. You are actually passing contractor value to the client side. Okay. This variable should not be same. Always remember variable names are unique. Okay. So new value, do you guys think new value will work here? New value will only work in the on change transcript. New value will not work here. So here we have to get the value of the caller. How do you get the value of the caller? D underscore form dot get value. Q underscore caller. Okay. So here, right, you will actually get the answer from the server. See, once get XML wait is run, it will actually make a server call. It will make a server call and it will wait. That wait means it will actually wait from the server response. From the server, we will check whether the selected caller is actually a contractor or not. So you will you will get that uh, server response using get answer. Okay, where I'm actually uh, storing it in a variable. GA dot get answer. This will actually get the value from the server side to client side. Okay, if answer equal to equal to true, that means he is a contractor. So, what you will do? You will say like alert. Selected caller is contractor. Not a full time. Okay, you will use written false. Why do we use written false? To stop the form submission, we will use written false. Okay. 
so in place of alert you can also show a info message or error message or field message so i can also show the field message as well And also, I want to clear the value of the field. Okay. So I am going to refresh this one. System administrator is not a full-time employee. System admin also is not a full-time employee. I'm going to save this one. So we'll check with admin. Admin is also a contractor. So my farm has to be, my farm submission has to be stopped. Okay, here I'm actually filling these values. Now I am going to submit this one. It is submitting the form. That means our script is not working. Our script is not working. Why is it not working? Here we did not change the function name. So this function name, I have to keep it here. Now we will actually check this time it will work or not. So I'm going to inactivate this script, which is which we have actually already discussed. I'm going to save this one. Selected caller is not a full-time employee. It did not, it did not submit the form. 